Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? It's your guy Crypto Chuck back here with the group Crypto Black. If you guys are not in the Facebook group Crypto Black, make sure you go over to Facebook, type in Crypto Black. Just how it sounds. Go in, answer the three questions, join the group, learn about some cryptocurrency. Website will be coming soon, guys. We're working on it. I'm excited about it. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel as well. And we're going to get everything going, all right? Now, the news for the day, we all know the news of Bitcoin, but the rally of Bitcoin it has been on a tear the last few days. And actually, Litecoin, I'm going to do a video on Litecoin, too. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Litecoin has been doing, been doing good now. It's been moving. I mean, Litecoin was like basically like a stable coin, man. It was like $30 just sitting there for like months. <laughs> so um, I like Litecoin. I like the project. and uh, But... DeFi, we know DeFi has been the name of the game as well. So let's not forget about DeFi, guys, because these coins will go up from what I see. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, but from what I see, this is my opinion. And we look at Maker, Maker becomes first DeFi platform to lock over $1 billion, but concerns remain. If you look at Maker, uh, we can see back on, it had a nice little, little trend going up, but it was, Basically, as you guys can see, it just went on a tear on the 23rd. Went up with this nice long wick, but it dropped right back down. And then uh, to the next day, and then you look at 539, now we're down to 505. So we know the last few days how Bitcoin, all the money been coming out of aux, going directly into uh, Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum. So we know how that's been. So we're going to see how, we're going to see how it happens. We're going to see, you know, if, if this is the low. I mean, we touched here a few times. Look at that 498, still around that $500 uh, range, you know, where they're staying at. And then we're going to see how it goes. You know, it looks like it's fighting that $500. Um, you know, it's, it's a good support around, around there. And I see how it goes. I mean, this is definitely, if you get in at 500, if it goes back up here, you know, we're looking at pretty much like some all time highs up here, 729. So we have a long way to go. So we'll see how that, see how that plays out. And we look over to DeFi, uh, DeFi Pulse. We see Maker is number one, and Maker has took the throne from Compound, and uh, and actually have hit over that one that one billion dollar lock loans. But uh, let's get right into the article. So it says the DeFi market got its first unicorn this week. If the total value locked uh, assets on a platform is considered, Maker charges ahead of other DeFi projects. Now Maker DAO became the first DeFi platform to reach the milestone early on Monday. The development follows increasing mainstream interest in the subsector and Ethereum breaking above $300 over the weekend. Spartan Group co-founder Kevin Cole tweeted Monday that Maker became the first DeFi protocol to cross the magical 1 billion TVL. And he said, basically sent out a tweet saying, so many people got this one wrong. Um, so he added, so many people got this wrong referring to the broader crypto sector's interest in newer dApps like Compound and Av. I like Av as well. Uh, ahead of the relative veteran. An earlier Twitter poll held by Coe said, saw 46% of over 1,600 respondents choose Av as the first project to hit the 1 billion TVL mark with just 11% for Maker. Probably one of them. <laughs> and despite Locking the most in assets, Crypto Slate proprietary DeFi tracker shows Maker is not leading DeFi tokens by net market cap, network value. That crown's going to Ampleforth, a 2018 uh, founded platform that touts itself as, I'm sorry, it touts itself as adaptive money built on sound economics and is designed to act as a base currency for decentralized ecosystems. As the metrics show, uh, AMPL tokens enjoy a 559 million market cap compared to Maker's 525 million. However, this could change in the coming weeks as public sentiment on Ampleforth has started to soar. Um, critics say its token economics are not sustainable. Concerns of ill-fated Black Thursday remain. While Maker's 1 billion in TVL remains a historic milestone, concerns over its smart concern dynamics remain. 
Much of this stems from the Black Thursday event in April 2020, which saw Ethereum plunge 40% within hours and consequently zero bid auctions for ETH on the platform. Investors lost over 4 million due to this exploit that day. And yeah, that was a terrible day. Terrible day in crypto. I remember that day. But remember, guys, always put your stops. Always have your stops in so you don't lose 40%. Now, as Crypto Slate reported at the time, Maker caught unaware on March 12th after a sudden drop in ETH prices exposed the platform's questionable risk management policies. Investors lost millions in ETH, DAI, BAT, and USDT as hackers took advantage of zero bid offers. Rapidly failing, uh, falling ETH prices and rising gas values failed to update on Maker auctions, leading to a situation where certain ETH collaterals were purchasable at zero DAI compared to zero USDT. Since the ill-fitted event, maker developers have proposed how to prevent such a scenario in the future. For now, DeFi seems to be maker's field, but this could soon change with players like Yearn Finance quickly gaining prominence and exposure. Yearn has been going crazy. Now, maker currently ranked number 28 by market cap is down 2.7% over the past 24 hours. Maker has a market cap of 506 0.14 million with a 24 hour volume of 14.57 million. So, guys, what do you think? Tell me how you feel about Maker being the number one to reach 1 billion locks and loans, according to DeFi Pulse. Uh, tell me if you guys, who, what's your pick in DeFi? Are you a Maker person? Are you a compound person? Are you a, a Av uh, uh, person? Are you a Yearn Finance? You hopped on that bandwagon. Tell me what is your pick for DeFi? Or are you just pretty much just letting it all just you know, spread around and say, I'm doing this and doing that. I'm just searching whoever paying the higher rates and then I'm going, I'm going there. So let me know what you guys think about this. The good thing for, uh, for DeFi, uh, the hit that have one, uh, hit that $1 billion. We know it's going to be a few others going to come afterwards. So a lot of money going into DeFi, a lot of money going into DeFi, guys. And as we can see, we got 3.6 billion um, lot. So I think this is a great, great thing. Uh, the more money coming into crypto, the bigger numbers, the more mass adoption people want to see. And I mean, DeFi, how are you gonna, how are you gonna lose? But a lot of people take their money out because the game is going over Bitcoin. But at the end of the day, for people that's safe haven people that say, listen, I want to take my money. I'm not into trading and everything. I'll take my money. I want to let it just grow. DeFi is the way. It's the easiest way, <laughs> you know? So, but make sure you guys leave, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Are you a maker person? Are you a maker guy and girl? Are you an ad guy and girl? Are you a compound guy and girl? Are you a yearn finance guy and girl? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you Kyber? synthetics you know <laughs> so drop a comment like share and subscribe to the channel guys this is crypto chuck here with the group crypto black i'll see you later till next time stack sats and chill we out of here baby